I'm talking with Sally Grayson, who is Programme Director at People and Places. Sally, I have to ask you this. Some volunteer organisations um, offer free volunteering as an option. People and Places charge. How do you justify that? There's no such thing as free volunteering. Someone, somewhere, has got to pay. There are costs involved in volunteering. Volunteer needs to eat, a roof over their head. What happens in an emergency? How does one ensure that the volunteer is correctly sorry correctly is not the right word how does one ensure that the volunteer is prepared for the work they will do all of these things cost money how do we ensure safety how do we ensure that the volunteer is safe how do we ensure that the community is safe all of these things cost money somebody has to pay for it somewhere. I, don't misunderstand me, I'm not campaigning for all volunteers to travel through sending organisations. But I do want people to understand that volunteering costs money. And in most instances, the communities that volunteers travel to will have a culture of receiving honoured guests and asking nothing of them. And we have heard stories where children have gone hungry because the last of the food has been given to volunteers. We want to ensure that our volunteers are no financial burden on the economically poor communities we serve. So do volunteers understand that? How do you explain that? We try to be as transparent as we can. Yes, there is a cost to volunteering, but we spell out how much that cost is. Each of our projects is individually costed and our volunteers know how much of the money stays in the UK, less than 20% in all instances. When we started People and Places, one of our goals and one of our core values is that at least 80% of the volunteers' money reaches the host country. We spell out to the volunteer <coughs> how much money is spent on caring for them directly, their accommodation, their food, orientating them, preparing them. We explain exactly how much stays in the UK preparing them, screening them, matching them, the marketing and matching work that we at People and Places do. We ensure that wherever our volunteers stay is local, locally owned accommodation. So that money is reaching the host community. All of our volunteers know exactly how much of the fee they pay to us is donated directly to the project. So why doesn't every volunteer organisation do that? I don't know the answer to that. I only know what People and Places does. Thank you, Sally.